Hi, everyone. Welcome to PK. My name is Mia, and I'm sorry I'm not there with you in person, but I'll be coming to you virtually to teach you all about mindfulness. Now, I know I met with some of y'all a couple weeks ago, but I know that we got some new students. So put your hands up if you've ever heard of mindfulness. It's okay if you've done it before, but just what is mindfulness? Raise your hand. Okay, good. Now raise your hand if you have no idea what mindfulness is. It's okay, don't be shy. Good. So now we kind of have an idea of who knows or doesn't know, but that's what we're gonna talk about. When we think of mindfulness, there's actually a few things we think about. It's about being non-judgmental and grounded in, in the present moment. Think of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Aang, every time before he goes into battle, he has to ground. He has to be able to come to center before he's able to fight the battle. And we have to think about this kind of in our own lives and every day. Sometimes we face a battle every single day. And I know some of you know what I'm talking about. And in that battle, before we respond or react, in ways that sometimes it may not be what we really want, we need to take a break or a minute to get back to center. And that's what mindfulness is. And so I'm gonna teach you all a couple of tricks of how to practice mindfulness. So I ask and invite you all to engage with this with me. And don't worry, um, one thing about mindfulness that I really like is that it involves being non-judgmental and that's really hard in society today but with all of your pk members it's really important that every time we gather that we're not judging each other because we know when we go out in the world we're being judged so why do it here that's not what we're about and so i ask you to not judge yourself or judge other people for what they're doing we're all going to do some silly things and it may be uncomfortable, but I invite you to try. There's no, you're not getting a grade for it and no one's evaluating you. We just want to share this practice with you. I know it's helped me in my life to really avoid some really rough situations. And that's why I find it really important to share with others. So you ready to begin? Mm -hmm. Started. So. We have some rules for mindfulness. One is that I want you to be open, try it, just try it. And there's no need to believe anything. It's not associated with any religion or spirituality. It's just a way of being. Like I said, remember the avatar, he had to ground and center himself, which is mindfulness before he was able to go into the battle. So. I just want you to be open to this experience and try to learn how to develop your own awareness, test your capacity to do these things that I'm gonna ask you to do, okay? So, mindfulness includes five different parts. One is observing, observing what's going on around you. Before you make a move, you need to know what's going on in the environment. This is extremely important. So just look around the room and I want you to notice five different things. Some of y'all may know this from a couple of weeks ago, but just try it again for me. I want you to notice five things that you see. All right, now I need someone brave to shout out five things that they see. Go ahead. Help me out, y'all. Don't be shy. Great. Another component of mindfulness is describing, and that's just what you did, so good job. Another thing is acting with awareness. When we think of awareness, usually that's our own ability to be present in the moment, like what is actually happening. I'm not thinking about what homework I need to do. I'm not thinking about what my mom or dad said earlier. I'm not thinking about like what other people are doing. 
I am literally just paying attention in the moment. That's acting with awareness. Then again, that nudge, non-judgment of what you're experiencing. Sometimes we experience things in our body like tingling or sometimes like our back hurts or things like that. We have to pay attention to those moments and acknowledge it. And so we don't judge it, we accept it for what it is. Right now, I'm having some back pain. So I accept that. That's a part of mindfulness. And then non-reactivity to what is going on in me. If I'm feeling emotional, if I'm angry, if I'm pissed, or if I'm sad, or if I'm actually confused, allow it to be that, just that. So those are the parts of mindfulness. And so how do we practice that? Well, one, you're already doing it. You're paying attention to me, but you're also breathing. Breathing is one of the ways that we can connect and ground and how we can practice that mindfulness anywhere, anytime. And so as long as you're breathing, you're doing great. You're doing it right. And so no matter what challenge you're facing, no matter if you have tools or don't have the tools, you're able to ground and get centered just by breathing. So let's practice, okay? All right. So one, I want you to get into a relaxed position in the body. You can be sitting or reclining, lay down if you want to. I'll give you a moment to get comfortable. My PK folks, help me out. <laughs> Mentors, do it too. So we're gonna go through a five minute breathing relaxation meditation, okay? All right, and again, this is an invitation. I would really appreciate you all doing it with me. So get comfortable, all right? If you feel invited to, you can close your eyes, that's comfortable to you. Some people may want a soft gaze where you can kind of see through the eyes and some people wanna keep their eyes open. That's okay, as long as you're not judging people around you, okay? So gently close the eyes and I want you to draw your awareness to your natural breath. Notice the inhale and exhale. How long does it take for you to inhale and exhale? If you'd like, you can place one palm over your belly button and another over your chest and you slowly inhale. And exhale. Do it at your natural rhythm. And now I invite you to deepen your breath. Let's go deeper, longer. Inhale in. Let's do four seconds. One, two, three, four. And exhale for one, two, three. Good job. Let's do it again. Inhale, two, three, four. And exhale, one, two, three, four. Now I'm gonna ask you to do the same inhale for four seconds, but then hold for four seconds in between, and then do a deep exhale out for four seconds. Ready? Four, 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 Jay-Z. Let's go. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. <laughs> you can make that exhale a heavy sigh if you like. Let's try it again. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three. Great job. Let's continue this. And inhale for four. 
hold and exhale last round inhale hold and exhale one two great job thanks for doing that it's okay if your mind wanders even when you're breathing but it's important to bring it back to just breathing paying attention to that breath and now take your hands off your chest and your belly if you had it and i want you to notice how you feel after that someone brave volunteer and tell us how do you feel after that come on i know you can do it Great, thanks for sharing. So I know I feel really more grounded. And when I say grounded, I feel like I'm connected literally to the ground. Sometimes I can be in my head so much, I feel almost like I'm floating and that causes me a lot of stress and anxiety. But if I'm able to ground, actually feel connected and more relaxed in my body, I can really be able to move forward. Sometimes we have these moments where we're overwhelmed or you feel this, the emotions taking over or just like clouded. And in order for us to clear up that cloudiness, we can do these relaxing breaths in order to get grounded and center to find ourselves again. Well, thanks y'all. That's our mindfulness practice. I definitely want you all to practice this. Practice, try it and try looking up even on YouTube, some breathing exercises whenever you're starting to get like a little rowdy. This is how you get back to center. All right, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next week with the rest of your mindfulness exercises. Have a great week y'all, enjoy PK. Peace. <laughs>